the UK won't ever stop surprising me with amazing cracks all over the place. Last week I went to the Churnet Valley for the first time with the idea of ticking off a few climbs for this year's challenge of climbing 100 sevens. The Churnet is situated just outside of the big district and features a soft sandstone rock in between an outstanding forest landscape. This day I drove up with my mate John, who is a really keen climber. After warming up, we started out on the Simple Simon and Direct block, which is a 7A of E6 that I was intending to flash. It's a rather fingery block with one dynamic move to a good slot, then it has a big move to a good hold where you have to match hands. Psych for having flashed this block, I quickly moved on to one of the variations of the block, Simple Simon, which starts just where this block finishes and climbs to the next break and gets a grade of 7B or V8. It didn't take me too long to realize that it was a clear step up in difficulty from the indirect version, although at first it really looked like a very basic block on which I could maybe power through the moves. Despite the holes were fairly in cut, we couldn't really work out a way of keeping the tension on our feet in order to reach out to the higher holes which felt not too bad but a bit greasy and off balance. Definitely one to try out in better conies. Next up was the classic old sloper problem, which is a nice fidget climb that finishes on a slopey shelf which you either slap it right on the sweet spot or you just won't get it at all. Quite a nice and fun 7A, probably on the soft side of the grade if you are lucky enough like me to hit it just on the nicest side of the shelf in not too many attempts. Before moving on to another area, this boulder really caught our attention. The line that we decided to go for was right unconquerable, a 7A plus or V7 that climbs to the lip using the crack in the middle of the roof. On my first try I got a bit freaked out thinking that I would break my ankle in case I dropped the crack jam in the roof as I had a heel toe come at the start, so I didn't commit fully on my flash go. John showed me the way on this one as he sent the climb in only two goes, committing to have the toe heel come at the beginning. What an absolute beast. After this block, we ventured to find the Witness the Chartnetness boulder, on which you can find some really cool lines. Long story short, we got trapped on a thorn field for ages and managed to build a crash pad bridge to freedom, of which I don't have footage of, although I have some of the aftermath. It was actually worth the trip, or at least that's what I keep telling myself, as the block really looked amazing. Anyway, we started trying out Merv's roof a 7C or V9 that is a classic of the area. Pretty steep climb on decent holes with a heinous top out. I started out by trying the top out which actually didn't feel too bad, although it was quite sandy at the top so I didn't manage to actually do it, but I got the idea. Then I went straight to try it out from the start as I had watched a couple of beta videos.
I guess not too bad for the first try from the bottom, although I was literally spat off the wall. This section in the middle of the roof gave us some work, as we spent some time sorting out a sequence. We eventually found a foot sequence that allowed us to connect both start and top out, but connecting the whole line proved to be really hard for the first session. After realizing we had little to do with Merv's roof, we moved to Pocket Rocket, a 7-8 just on the right of the boulder. Yeah. It didn't seem too complex at first, although it gave me a bit of a headache as I kept on dropping this move, which on its own didn't feel too bad. I had to put my try-hard hat on yes. and really focus on what I was doing. After sending this, we ventured again into the wild of the Chernet Valley and got bitten by a number of thorns and stinging nettle fields again. This time we questioned our own existence and wondered what we were doing all this for. Still that question echoes in my mind every now and then. Despite all the fear and loathing, we got to the last venue, Dimmingsdale where we wanted to have a go at high speed impact. Another 7A that we could both potentially tick. A bit high bowly but on really good holds. I had a shy flash dry on it as I didn't really know how much I was willing to commit to the big pocket move on the middle of the block which would potentially be the crux of the line. I guess my head wasn't exactly what it needed to be and I sadly dropped that move. Once again my friend John showed me the way and managed to easily tick the block, which motivated me to join him on the sand drain. This line put an end to our climbing day which turned out to be quite good despite all the faffing around going from boulder to boulder. Anyway that was all for this vlog, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to support my channel please like the video, comment and subscribe.